Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 1st through January 7th. This is intended for the sign of Aries. It may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people, so just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Release, release. <laughs> I said release. This is release. That is so funny. I love it. I love it. There you are, Aries. You know, I think that you guys have reached the end of a cycle. I do. You know, the end of a karmic cycle, perhaps, because the justice is karma. It is a, a form of karma, okay? No more. No more being in solitude. No more staying stuck. You know, and you, you're you all over in this reading, okay? <clears throat> here, here, and here. And here. Okay, you're here in this reading. No doubt about it. You are releasing. You are. You are releasing. It's like you have let go. I've, I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. Okay, you know, I'm going to focus that camera in. So, January 1st through January 7th, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to focus on this anymore. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. You know, I'm I, no more, no more uh, contemplating. No more staying stuck. No more juggling. No more chaos. I'm not going to cry about it. I know there's more for me. It's time for me to focus on the future. It's time for me to focus on me. If I'm going, you know, I feel like it's a time of something, something is about to be revealed. Something is about to be revealed that allows you to break free even more. Okay? There's a hidden force that is working in your favor that is that is helping you. Okay? It's helping you. Helping you to bring security back. Helping you to bring stability back to your life. Whereas there has been quite a bit of instability. There's been some chaos. There's been some drama. And it feels like you've been waiting for this change. I've been waiting. It's time. It's time for me to go. No more secrets. No more. It's like the secret has come out. All right? This 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 karmic situation is over. It's over. I've let go. I've let go. I'm letting go. I'm not going to stay stuck here anymore where there's no more future, there's no more growth. I'm ready to take this new path. And, and you know what? It's like the time is now. The time is now. It's time for me to really, really, really start this healing process. Because right now, or where you've been at, the wishes have not been fulfilled. Okay?
Now, it's a time of holding your head up high and not worrying about what others are going to say. All right? So it's time for you to do the right thing for you and not worry about what anybody else has to say. You, you're probably contemplating or you're worried about what are the, what are the, what's everybody going to say about this? You know, these two cards are about nobility and respect in society. Okay. But they're both reversed. And I can see that you're worried about that, but there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Because it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to release. It's time for you to heal. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope. And where you've been at, you haven't been inspired. You lost hope. And now it's time to bring the hope back. It's time for change. And you've been waiting for the perfect moment. The perfect moment. The script has already been written. And now it's time to follow the script. Okay? The mystery is about to be revealed. Okay? Action is about to be taken. It appears that the time has come for you guys to move, to make a move, to make the move in, in the, in the, uh, oh, destination of your heart's desire, okay? No more. No more holding on. It's like, I, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. That's what I hear. It's like, I'm gone. I'm going to focus on me now. I'm going to focus on me. I'm not going to focus on you. I'm going to focus on me. Don't cry about it when I'm gone. There's no need to cry about me being gone. Because this change is needed for everybody involved. It feels like you've been in limbo. You've been in limbo. You've been waiting. You've been sacrificing. You've been resisting this change. <coughs> Excuse me. But now, now you have a new outlook. Now, now, the out, now you have a new outlook, you have a new perspective, and you're moving on. Like I said, you're gone. It's like, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm not going to sit here and be silent anymore, okay? I'm going to follow my spiritual journey. I'm going to keep going. No more sitting here doing nothing about it. I'm out of here. A cycle is over. That's what the moon brings. The, the moon is about cycles. Okay? This cycle that you've been in is just about done if not done okay you are absolutely moving forward whether you're moving home you're traveling you're mastering your emotions or whatever you're doing you are headed in the right direction and you are in the driver's seat and it's a transformation time for you Aries no more fear I am on my way there you are taking action out of here
I'm out of here. Time for a rebirth, time for a renewal, time to start over. Time for a fresh start. I'm gonna have some compassion for myself while I'm at it. This is gonna be great. It's time for you to bring your beauty back. not looking back. I am not looking back. And I'm no longer holding on. I'm not going backwards. I'm going forwards. Don't cry about me when I'm gone. I'm letting go. I'm taking action. And get ready for the new me. And you can't stop me. You can't stop me because my mind is made up. I'm out of here. Goodbye. I'm in control. And there's no looking back. This week is about moving on. I'm done. Gone. Goodbye. I love you. These are very important words. Perhaps before you go, you say that. You say that to yourself, perhaps. Maybe that card came out for you. I said earlier, gentle compassion for yourself. Time for the new me. I love you. That means you love yourself. When you can go and follow your own journey and do what's right for you, that's your own justice. That's when the heaviness gets re released. That's the ultimate release when you love yourself to that extent. The weight gets lifted because you know you're doing the right thing for yourself. You're being honest with yourself. That's the ultimate integrity. A karmic cycle is ending because you are replacing fear with faith and loving yourself and moving forward on your path, nobody else's. I'm going to read what that card says from the book, even though I think we just did it pretty good. I love you. These are very important words. Whether you say this to a pet, a friend, your partner, or yourself. These are the most important words you can say. Don't hold these words in like it will take away their importance. Be willing to say, I love you, often and freely. <coughs> this week is about letting go. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to make it into more than it is. I'm not going to say anything else because there's nothing else to say. You're moving on. I'm done. Okay? I am done. This cycle is over. Goodbye.